What is going on guys? Welcome to your 10th Coco Studio tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over different ways we can use the actions that we already learned. So the first thing I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do is reverse an action. So for example, say you build a game on you know a chess game or something and the user moves a chess piece well you can have a button to take back that action and no matter what they did you can reverse it and it kind of exactly like you think reverses the action so let's go ahead and start coding ID just name it the action and set it equal to you know CC the action doesn't matter move by action with duration just say one or something and just put position and CCP um, 50 by 50 looks good and then let's go ahead and take this chick and run action the action hopefully I didn't mess anything up it's you know I probably should have had this pre done but let's go ahead and move this make sure that yep alright so that's a basic action so now let's go ahead and reverse this so let's go ahead and quit and check this out the easiest thing you'll ever learn in your entire life make a new action called ID just name it like rev act for reverse action and all you have to do is set it to whatever action you have and just go ahead and type in reverse just like that so now when you run this rev act check this out build and run save it whatever action it reverses it does the opposite of it so you remember before it went to the top and to the right and now it goes to the bottom and to the left so it pretty much takes whatever action and reverses it simple enough so now you know how to reverse actions done that's in your memory easy as pie so the next thing I want to tell you is about a sequence and this is a list of actions executed in the order given so in the last tutorial we put a couple actions together and tried to run it and they both kind of happened at once but what if you actually don't want this to happen you want to do one thing and then another thing and then another thing simple we can do that as well so let's go ahead and put AD I mean you know ID AD same thing what's the difference right and let's go ahead and type an action CC move uh, let's put move to why not and put action with duration position right there so action with duration is two and for position just put CCP uh, I don't know 100 100 just in your actions don't have to be the same as mine just go ahead and make any three actions you want so I'm gonna put first do this and I'm gonna name this one a2 and this one a3 and for this you know don't make them all the same or it's gonna look weird CC rotate by and I actually want action with duration angle right here so I'm gonna take this for one second and then make this you know 360 degrees and for my third action uh, let's get something a lot different let's do CC scale by and let's go ahead and get action with duration scale just so I'll make this take two seconds and make it you know 3.0 its original size so now that we have three actions what we can do is this in order to make a sequence well I'll show you it's probably easier if I just show you run action and for the action is this CC sequence no not that actions and the actions parameters are what actions you want to do it's pretty much a list of stuff you want to do so let's go but put a1 a2 a3 and you have to end it with nil like most things in uh, this programming language so again what this is going to do is a little bit different than what we saw last time it's going to run a1 and then when a1 is completely done it's going to run a2 then a3 so check this out two one two so it should take a total of five seconds to get done with everything so let's go ahead and build and run this save and run this and see if I messed up anything it moves and then it turns and then it scales 
beautiful. So instead of doing everything at once, like we saw in the last tutorial, this is a way by using a sequence in CC sequence, we can do one after another after another. And now once that's covered, I want to show you guys this. The correct way, I mean in the last tutorial we saw a bunch of different things happening all at once. But there's a proper way to actually run multiple actions all at once, and that's to use something called spawn. And the method for this is CC spawn. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Um, instead of CC, actually, all we have to do is delete this. And instead of CC sequence, what you do is CC spawn, and I think we should be good right here. So unlike sequence, instead of doing them one after another after another, we can use spawn and throw our actions in as parameters, of course, end it with nil. And this is going to run all our actions at once. So, you know, this should actually look pretty interesting as long as I didn't mess anything up. So, spawning does this. You guys are really anxious for me to press this button. Actually, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to go grab a beer first. I'm just kidding. I'll press it. So, turn, move, and grow. And why did it look like it was uh, taken all the different times? Is because these times are different. So if we change this to 2, they'll all finish at the same time. So let me go ahead and build and run this. And now you see the difference between spawn and sequence. Spawn happens all at once, like, you know, a bunch of eggs spawning, I guess, if you're familiar with StarCraft, Zerg. And uh, anyways, there you go, just like that. So it spun, moved, and grew all at once. So anyways, that's that for that tutorial. Um... I don't have anything more for you guys. That's all I'm going to cover because, you know, I don't feel like teaching anything else in this tutorial. I'm going to have to make you guys watch another tutorial. So anyways, um, we cover reverse action, sequence, and spawn. Once you got this covered, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, buy my apps, you know, uh, check out my forum. And, and you know, just uh, just do a bunch of stuff for me. And I'll keep making tutorials for you guys. Sound like a deal? Good. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.